guys, so I'm going to film a get ready with me video and basically I'm going to do this kind of like Emily Noel does it where we sit down and I'm just going to start applying makeup and kind of tell you what I'm applying but also just kind of catch up and chit chat with you. So I'm going to start by prepping my skin with the Maybelline Baby Skin. I actually just did a review on this product and I was saying how I think it's more of like skincare than it is makeup product just because it doesn't really make my makeup last a lot longer but that's just my opinion so if you want to check out that video it's literally I think the last one I uploaded before this for foundation I'm using the motives liquid to powder foundation and the shade I'm in is linen which I believe is the lightest shade and I'm just gonna be taking my Sigma F80 to buff it out what I like doing because it's like a squeezy tube, I like just dotting it all over my face out of the tube. It's very convenient. This is um, a good foundation for the people that don't like the messy, you know, bottles that pour out that don't have the pump. Oh, I guess this would be a good time to show you that I changed my, um, my earrings. They're finally healed, my third, uh piercings and so I changed I put the ones I got pierced with in the first hole because they're not like the mall piercings so they're just regular earrings and then I put just you know another silver couple silver stainless steel um, balls in the second and third holes and then I put back this kind of earring in my cartilage. I have some acne going on so I'm just gonna try and do a little damage control <laughs> I think it's because of a moisturizer that I'm testing out for a blog review. Um, probably between that and applying sunscreen to my face. Because even though I get like the face sunscreen, somehow it just it's it's not sensitive enough, I guess, for my face that tends to break out. Let me know if you guys want an updated skincare routine video. I don't know how much has changed since my last one, but Besides this moisturizer I'm uh, trying out, I think I've found just products that do not make my acne prone skin break out, which is awesome. Now I'm taking the Pixi um, Brightening Corrector, putting that under my eyes. They've been a little dark and it also doesn't help that I couldn't get to sleep until 3am uh, last night. So definitely need a little bit of brightening under there. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Yeah, I, I've always um, had issues with sleeping. I've always had a bit of insomnia, but I guess um, ever since I started at the daycare, it's worse <laughs> for um, probably pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the F80 brush to blend it out at first. I'm going to take a little of my L'Oreal True Match and just use that on the rest of my face. So me and Dylan are going to Newport, Rhode Island for our four year anniversary trip. And um, I'm really looking forward to it because I've never really been there, even though it's sort of close. Um, you know, we're going to check out those mansions, which I hear just really cool things about and um, go to the beach, just have some fun and relax. I can't wait to have just a few days to just relax and not have to worry about anything because life has just been crazy the past few months. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. That'll be um, July 17th to the 20th is when we're going down. Okay, so to set my face, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. You guys know I love this powder. I seriously don't think I have used another face powder since I got this. And I mean, I've had this at least a year now. I mean, it's just my addiction. Well, actually, I have used other powders, but what I'm trying to say, because um, now that I think of it, I have, but um, what I'm trying to say is it's just my all-time fave. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD um, translucent powder to set my under eyes. Time for eyebrows, and I just use this Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer. I've been using this um, since I got it on clearance at CVS last year. 
I like how it matches um, my eyebrows pretty well and it's very easy to use and I've never been that person who just makes your eyebrows very um, very obvious like I don't want the super drawn on look I just kind of want it filled in and a little enhanced so it's a good product for it but I think it's a uh, discontinued so now for some contouring I'm using my M Cosmetics contour stick and this isn't fair I'm just going to do some quick contouring I have a um, video all about how to um, highlight and contour and blush and all that stuff so if you're not very um, you know into it and you kind of want to learn how to do it um, then I can link that below. It's funny because it, it didn't used to be my thing. I wasn't really a big, um, contouring and highlighting person, but I guess throughout the years I just got more into it, and I like how it does define your face and it makes it a little warmer, all that good stuff. This is a really user-friendly, um, cream contour. So, if you're looking for a cream contour, this is a good one to check out. I'm going to use a little bit of the highlight. I The highlight end, I don't like as much as the contour end because I feel like it's almost a little too shiny, a little too intense, but I'll use a little bit sometimes. For blush, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Bake Blush, and this is in Passion Pink. To me, it's more of a coral color. It doesn't come off super pinky, but what can you do? <laughs> Um, I still like how it looks, so I'm going to wear it. It's always good to blend everything out. So I'm literally just getting ready to film today. Like, I'm not getting ready to go anywhere at all. Um, but I had asked in my foundation routine video if you guys wanted to see um, any more kind of video style like that and if you want to get ready with me videos and so I figured why not so um here I am getting ready to film and this is um painterly paint pot from MAC if anyone's wondering so I'm just going to be using my MAC eyeshadows today I honestly don't even know what I want to use so I'm just going to start applying and kind of let you know from there to start with a blending color, I'm going to take Kid and put that in my crease. Oh, so I got to show you guys something. I was over Dylan's earlier today and his mom was like, oh, I got you something. And it's so random because usually it's just kind of like holiday things that she'll get me something. So I was like, oh, what? And she pulls out from this bag this little guy here. And I'm just like, he's so cute. So his name is Ollie and he's a Thai beanie. And I just think it's the cutest little thing ever. Should be saying she, I guess, but... <sighs> so cute. I don't know what to do with her. I don't know if I should, um, like, put her in my car, but I don't want her to fade in the sun. So, I don't know. But right now, I guess I'll just put her right here. <laughs> so she'll be peeking over in my video. <laughs> Which is another thing I want to ask you guys. Do you pronounce it Ty or T-Y? Because... Dylan and his mom are trying to convince me that it's T.Y., but I grew up calling it Ty, and my mom and my whole family, everyone says Ty, but they say T.Y., so I want to know what you guys call it. Alright, I'm going to take some expensive pink and put that all over my lid. I also wanted to ask you guys um, if you have any advice for things I should do to kind of really kickstart um, my makeup artistry business because, you know, I've had it for years now and I've been freelancing on and off, but I haven't focused on it as much as I want to. And, um, I'm kind of at that point where I'm fed up with <laughs> ignoring the fact that that's all I want out of life. And so I just, I want to make it happen, like, officially. So, I mean, I have business cards, I've done the salon runs, I have the website, the Facebook page, the Twitter, everything with social media and online. I have tons of different profiles, um, you know, for weddings, for everything. I mean, you name it. And the thing is, I looked up, by the way, I'm going to use some of Sable in my crease. 
I actually ended up applying to Ulta and Sephora. And I researched about, you know, working there or working at Mac. Now, Mac not only is really hard to get into, but it seems, though, that if you work at Mac, you can't freelance, you can't represent another company, and as you know, I represent Motives, and I'm really happy doing that. So I didn't even bother with Mac. And then I'm kind of worried that if I get into Sephora or Ulta, it's just going to be about sales and not about the artistry and it's not really going to help me um with my business so if anyone kind of has any tips i mean i've been really trying to devote my time to figuring that out and i don't know i just don't know so i'm gonna take i'm gonna take some soft brown to blend everything out yeah, I'm kind of at that point where I want to stop wasting my life with things that are always backup plans, and I just want to go for it. So, any advice, any tips, anything, I'm all ears. I've also been trying to promote my YouTube more, um, just online in general, and I've been really planning out my videos, trying to edit a little more seriously, um, upload a little less, but make the content um, more thought out, and so, I don't know, I've been gaining a few more subscribers, I think, but, I don't know, that's always been a, a question, too, is, like, what to kind of do about YouTube and making that happen, so, again, <laughs> any tips from all my fellow YouTubers out there is greatly appreciated. I'm gonna take some brulee as my, uh, brow bone highlight. And take some floof, I love the name of that, as my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to line my upper lash line using the Motives Lux Precision Eyeliner. And this is a liquid liner in jet black. And it's really nice because it actually has a pretty chubby tip, but then it goes to a really fine tip. And I don't know, I find it pretty easy to use. Yet I'm always so terrible at applying liquid eyeliner on camera. I feel like that's something that everyone on YouTube kind of complains about. Every, um, beauty person. Okay, so sorry, but I just, I can't film that great doing the liquid eyeliner part. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and use this Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal, I believe. Yes. This is actually going to be my next video, so keep a heads up because I'm going to review this on Thursday. Do you guys believe I'm turning 21 in like a month and a half? That's so weird to me. I just, I don't know. It, it's weird because it's like the last significant birthday, I feel, besides like 30 and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, it's just weird to me. And I'm a bit of a goody two-shoes because I've never drank, I've never smoked, I've never done drugs of any sort. So, I'm pretty excited. I'm not like totally against drinks, I'm just kind of, um, I don't know, I didn't really care to, um, you know, give in to peer pressure and all that kind of stuff when I was younger and in high school and stuff, so, I don't know. I guess it actually is special for me since I waited. Hmm. I want to try, like, strawberry daiquiri and stuff. I think those would be good. Chocolate mudslide or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. This is a completely random video. It's really weird. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Don't you hate when you blink too hard and then it goes under your eye and you're almost done? Like, literally all I have to finish are my lips. And that happens. I'm going to put a little bit under my eyes. So, the past, like, five days, I think, I've been cat-sitting um, for my friends who went to Canada for a little vacation. And they got this, um, this kitty, like, a few weeks ago. And she's ten months old, and she's adorable. And, uh, just makes me even more excited to move out, because all I ever wanted was a dog. But I couldn't have one, because my sister is allergic and so I just cannot wait to have one of my very own. 
But, um, I've always been more of a dog person than a cat person, but I've been having fun, um, with this little kitty, playing with her, and she's so cute. She purrs all the time around me and rubs up on my legs. It's, it's just so adorable. Okay, so for lips, I'm feeling Fruit Punch from Milani. I don't know. I, it, again, it's not really my favorite flavor because it tastes like watermelon, but it's a really pretty shade. This is one of my summer essentials. If you haven't seen that video, I can link that below too. I did a whole huge video on everything you can think of from wardrobe to makeup to nails to candles and everything um, on what I just love for summertime. Feeling like a little bit of gloss, so I'm going to use Creme Brulee NYX Butter Gloss. Oh, that's another thing. Do you guys think I should enter the NYX Face Awards again next year? Because, as you may or may not know, I entered this past year um, with my zombie look that I absolutely love, but um, I didn't make it in. So, I don't know if it's the whole, I don't have a lot of viewers thing, or, um, I don't know, like, they don't tell you why you didn't make it, so, but, I don't know, it just would be a huge opportunity for me, and I really... I'm thinking of maybe entering again, but I want to know your opinion if uh, maybe there's something I can do differently. Alright, so I guess that's about it for this Get Ready With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is different for me, and it uh, is now 26 minutes long, so that's going to take a decent amount of editing, I think. Or it's just going to be a longer video. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to hear your comments, because I love that it's kind of a... Uh, like a discussion. It kind of starts a discussion and I love talking with you guys. So definitely leave your comments and your answers down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Um, I will leave Ollie there for my next couple videos because I just think he's so cute. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching guys and again I will be filming right after this my Lash Out Butterfly Mascara Review, so be sure to check that out on Thursday. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!